Hi, today a different topic. As you might know, I using Ubuntu for a while. And before that, I use different Linux distributions. So for over two decades, I now using Linux as an operation system and also other Unix derivatives. So I'm a little bit Linux and Unix feel, as you might say. And even if I'm not part of the Linux community and never have this distributed any code to the Linux. I surely watched the Linux community or the involvement with Linus Thorvald and also the part of Intel that's put really, really massive money into the Linux distribution and so on. And now we have two main news about the Linux code. First, Linus Thorvald takes a little time off because he claims of his behavior in the Linux kernel community. And the second news is the release of the code of conduct for the Linux development. So let's first start with the Linus Thorwald post that came out on Sunday, the 16th September. And I think the main point is here that we haven't had that kind of pain point in about a decade. But this where we feel like a kind of pain point to me. And I think this is the main thing that he says. I'm going to take time off and get some assistance on how to understand people's emotion and respond appropriately. So what he says is that his behavior is not what other people might laugh to see from him and he wants to work on his behaviors. But this is the main point for the other topic today and that is the code of conduct that we have to discuss. And now to the contributor covenant code of conduct. So start by an open pledge and so on. And then our statements using welcome and inclusive language, being respectful of different viewpoints and experience, graceful acceptance, constructive criticism, focusing on what is best for the community, showing empathy towards other community members. So let's not anything, any point that have to be discussed that's very great for the Linux community and no one have to complain about this. And other unacceptable behaviors, sexualized language and so on, trolling, public or private harassment, publishing other private information, so no doxing and so on, and other conduct which could reasonably be considered inappropriate in, in other professional settings. So now we get in a little bit on the gray side, so no one ever defines what's inappropriate or so on. But I think we can all agree yes that sounds reasonable and we can get about this so now we have responsibilities and now we get into the very very deep kind of this code of conduct so maintainers are responsible for clarifying the standards and accept behaviors so what's acceptable we have seen here that's acceptable and expect to take appropriate and fair corrective action in response to any instance unacceptable behaviors. So if you have some colleague that may have some joke or what have you, so you are responsible to correct this kind of behavior. And that's a little bit on the very, very gray side. So maintainers have the right and responsibility to remove, edit or reject comments, commits, code, wiki edits, issues and other controls attributes that are not aligned with this code of conduct or to ban temporarily or permanently any contributor for other behaviors than they deem inappropriate, threatening, or offensive or harmful. So we are threatened by permanently banned and this is a very big threat. So the code of conduct threatening all the contributors with a very hard punishment. So the code of conduct just have to be banned. Sure, 
I think that's what we all see with Twitter and Google and so on. So I think that is very on the gray side. If we have some really, really court case going on, then I think that is okay to ban the people and so on. But if you have some kind of inquisitory judgment or some kind of hidden community that takes care of the people, that is not what we want. Surely not. This code of com conduct applies both with an the project space and public spaces so you are not only in the project but if you behave whatever they inquisitory wants in the public space when an individual is representing the project or its community so when if you have contributed how will you decide if you have if you are not representing the project or the community is there any real hard cut now i'm a private person or not so examples of representing a project or community including using an official project email address posting via an official social media account or acting as an appointment representative at an online or offline event. Representation of a project may be further defined and clarified by project maintainer. So now we have the very, very open statement. So you not only can be banned if you have maybe some different political opinion on your private side, then one of the now, and we came to this by the enforcement, one of the court or what have you Want you one of the social justice inquisitors what want mind to force into this they can define it later in the project whatever you want is re representation or not and now we came to the satanic phase of this whole code of conduct instances of abuse harassing or otherwise unacceptable behavior so this is i'm very clear no abusive no harassing that's totally clear but otherwise unacceptable behavior This is so hilarious. Maybe reported and contacted to the technical advisory board. So now we have an inquisitory board that's responsible for all the mess. All complaints will be reviewed, investigated and will be result in a response that is deemed necessary and appropriate to the circumstances. So whatever the technical advisory board, whatever people they may find for this board. So the technical advisory board have to deal not with technical questions they also have to deal with social and what have you questions that defines unacceptable behavior so now we have it the tap is obligated to maintain confidentiality with regard to the to the reporter of an incident so anyone can be uh, accused if there one or not nobody knows because all of confidentiality so no one have the right to confront with the accuser so that is totally against any law surely in some regions and countries and not all and this goes beyond any common sense Further details of specific enforcement policies may be posted separately. So now there's also whatever you want, we can enforce this in a separate post. Maintainers who do not follow or enforce the code of conduct in good faith may be faced temporarily or permanent repercussion as determined by other members of the project leadership. So this is how you kill a very good project that are based on merit and not on whatever you want. So please have an eye on this.